Hey, what's going on? It's Nick from Magnetic Sponsoring here in episode 8. And in this episode, we're going to cover uh, how to structure your tab so that it actually converts the highest. Now, what I have found is that a lot of marketers are using the same structure, and that's because it is actually converting very well. So basically, that structure has to do with having a header up here that has some kind of, um, you know, actually sometimes very dramatic headlines work really well. And it's almost a given. So I have this uh, made up one right here, expose how a technically challenged network marketer used this one strategy to create such and such money. You know, always having numbers in there is a really good idea. So that headline obviously is supposed to direct them to either want to watch the video or read some of the copy and ultimately I want them to sign up to either my mailing list um, you know to get a free gift or something like that so this structure here that you're seeing is the structure that is converting highest as of now and it's actually really easy to create so using the fan page engine and obviously all of my tutorials right here are going to be using fan page engine because that's what I use and that's what I know best. So um, right here you can also bring, so you see I have this horizontal opt-in form here. You can actually have the vertical one and put it right next to your video. That works just as well. So you'll see I have these big arrows. That could be changed up a little bit. I could have arrows kind of pointing in from this side and that would look a little bit better maybe. But down here I also have this bulleted list. Now, if you're using Fan Page Engine, just a real little, um, little quick thing here is they offer you uh, a bulleted list, so you can have a bulleted list if you want. But I found that I like putting my own bullets in there. So what you can do is you can use a text form up here and insert your own image of the bullet form you want. So what you do is you go in front of your text there, you click the insert image and you insert your image URL. So once you have that in there, um, you size it according to the right size that you want. I adjust mine so it's on the left side and click insert. Now once I do that, I have to push space and it pops up right where I want it to. So that's how I got those bulleted lists or um, bullets down there that look customized because obviously you won't find those in the fan page engine. And that's probably the best way to do it. So um, back to the structure. Basically just having bullet points here, another call to action to sign up here. And then up here you can have some text with another call to action, obviously, to sign up into your opt-in form. Having a video that autoplays is really convenient, actually, because um, then no one has to worry about clicking the play button and immediately your message is going to be delivered. So there's the structure right there that... Um, definitely is converting the highest right now and I would highly recommend sticking to that when creating your capture forms in your tabs. So I'll see you in the next episode. I hope you found this very useful. I'll talk to you soon.